Today, we are going to demonstrate how to fix WD secondary translator issue that may lead to all sectors readable but empty. This drive presented here has already been unlocked. For the details about SCD remove, please refer to the previous unlocking tutorial. Now we enter Western Digital Utility and click Auto Detect. The PCB is detected as version 810011, Family Carmel. The drive is running smoothly, but it forbids us from reading the authentic data. Instead, what we get from the user area are empty sectors. Excluding the possibility of the drive being low-level formatted, this is generally the result of 190 module data disorder or critical entries missing. It is necessary to rearrange the disordered entries in 190 module to read the correct data. Before the operation, let's back up all the key modules When the backup has been done, open the secondary translator editor and load the original 190 module, which we extracted from drive in advance. We can see that entries displayed in the list are all correct and valid. However, the drive still feeds back with empty sectors. So there must be some missing entries or the entries that have been misplaced in sequence. Under such a circumstance, we need to consider rebuilding the secondary translator, which we usually call T2. Then upload the regenerated T2 data into the RAM. Here we recommend users to activate these two additional options in the first attempt. Disable updating 190 and translator regeneration in general. It should be noted that you will have to re-upload T2 data each time the drive is powered off and on, since the secondary translator data is uploaded into the RAM. After the uploading, we turn back to the sector viewer and refresh the user sectors. Those once emptied sectors now show us the real data. We can even expand partition table under Data Explorer. This is the end of our demonstration. Thanks for watching.